Hello friends, let us see the puzzle of finding the fastest three horses. In this puzzle, there are 25 horses. You can conduct a race among at most five horses at a time. How many races are required to get the top three fastest horses? The task is to find the minimum number of races that you would conduct to find the top three positions. Let us come to the solution. For simplicity, we name all the 25 horses starting from A1 to A5, B1 to B5, C1 to C5, D1 to D5 and E1 to E5. Let us first conduct the race between A1 to A5 the second race between B1 to B5 and so on the fifth race between E1 to E5. We assume one of the possible outcomes of these races as the first position being backed by A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1 respectively in their groups. Now, since we need to find only the top three positions, we can eliminate the 4th and the 5th position holders in their respective groups. That is, we can eliminate A4 and A5, B4 and B5, C4, C5, D4, D5 and E4, E5. Since they are already behind 3 horses in their respective groups. So, they cannot be in the first 3 positions anyway. So the remaining horses in contention for the positions are A1 to A3, B1 to B3, C1 to C3, D1 to D3 and E1 to E3. Let's move on. We conduct the sixth race between the toppers of each race that is A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. Let us as assume one of the cases of the race that in the 6th race, the first position was backed by A1, 2nd by B1, C1, D1 and E1 respectively. Now, at the end of 6th race, we conclude that A1 is the fastest among all the 25 horses. Now, our task is to find the 2nd and the 3rd position holders among the remaining horses. Now, since we need to find only the top three positions, so on the basis of this sixth race, we can eliminate D1 and E1. Since A1, B1 and C1 are faster than D1 and E1. Now, as D1 is eliminated, we can also eliminate D2 and D3 because they are slower than D1 and they cannot be in the first three positions. Again, on the similar grounds, since E1 is eliminated in the sixth race, so are E2 and E3 since they are slower than E1. Now, according to the sixth race, C1 was in the third position. So, we can eliminate C2 and C3 since they again cannot hold the top three positions as A1, B1 and C1 are faster than C2 and C3. Now we come to B1. Since B1 is second in the sixth race, we can eliminate B3 as in all the cases B3 will be slower than a1, B1 and B2. Since we have to find only the top three positions, so B3 gets eliminated. We also know that from the sixth race, A1 is the fastest of all the 25 horses. So the remaining horses in contention for the second and third position are B1, B2, C1, A2 and A3. 
So at last we conduct the seventh race among the five remaining horses as shown in the previous slide. They were B1, B2, C1, A2 and A3. And in the seventh race, the first position holder would be eventually second overall and the second position holder would be third overall. So the minimum number of races required to find the top three positions are seven. For doubts and suggestions, please comment below. Stay tuned and keep watching.